I love eating a good breakfast in the morning. And I don't even like waking up in the morning, but when I know there's gonna be an amazing breakfast served to me, even if I have to make it myself, I will crawl out of the bed. So today, I made myself apple spice pancakes and they are amazing. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. And in the meantime, while you're watching me, you know, do my do, I'm gonna eat this snack, okay? When I make my vegan pancakes, the first thing I like to do is start with my egg. So obviously I'm not using real egg. I use a flax egg. Basically that's flaxseed mixed with water. So let's do that first. Here I've got two tablespoons of flaxseed already ground up. And I've got a quarter of a cup of water. Give them a nice stir. And I'm gonna let that sit while I work on my other ingredients. In the meantime, it's going to thicken and it's going to become like an egg. Now we're gonna move on to our dry ingredients. So I'm using a blend of flours today. I've got spelt flour, which is a cousin of wheat. And I'm also using teff flour, which is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So teff is an, I guess you can call it an ancient grain. It actually happens to be the smallest grain in the whole wide world. Each little tiny grain is like the size of like half of a, a pinpoint. It's so teeny tiny. And it's really, really healthy, really great for you. A lot of different um, antioxidants and things going on, but it's also really high in fiber and protein. So that in our pancakes is gonna make them more hearty and it's gonna keep me full for longer. So let's add those flowers. Got my spelt here and add the teff. I'm gonna follow that up with my sugar, which I'm using coconut sugar for this because it's a little bit healthier, has a lower glycemic index, and it has a really, really nice flavor for these apple spice waffles. I mean, <laughs> pancakes. <laughs> these are pancakes. You can Actually, you can make these into waffles too if you have a waffle iron, which I do, and I have done that, and it's delicious. I'm also gonna add some sea salt, baking soda, baking powder, um, and then my special, special spices as well. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, so I'm gonna toss these in as well, and give it all a nice stir and get it all combined. So you can set your dry ingredients to the side, and we're gonna get that flax egg back out again. You see it's like, <laughs> super thick now. This is exactly how we need it to be so we'll hold our pancakes together when we cook them. So now I can add the rest of the ingredients into here. I've got some soy milk with a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar in there just to help it all fluff up when it reacts with the baking soda baking powder. To the apples, of course. These are apple spice pancakes. I have apple sauce. Got a little bit of oil. So it's a teeny tiny bit. Two tablespoons. Got some vanilla. Beautiful. All right, it looks fabulous. And it smells so, so, so good. Oh, oh, one more thing before I forget. So I have some fresh ginger that I peeled. I'm gonna add this for a little bit more flavor to the pancakes. Just grate it if you have a grater like mine or a microplane. Just a tad, ooh. So those are our wet ingredients. I'm gonna slowly pour my wet into my dry, give it a nice stir, make sure it's all nice and combined. When you do this, you just wanna make sure that you do not over stir it um, because that'll sort of make them, that'll make them hard. They won't be nice and fluffy like we like them, right? So that's all the stirring you need to do. Just gotta make sure that it's nice and combined. Now, depending on how thin or how thick you like your pancakes, you wanna add um, more or less liquid milk. So I will put that in the recipe down below, but I ended up using a cup and a quarter of soy milk. Um, so if you like them a little bit thinner, add more. So I already have my skillet warm. Let's get some oil so we can fry these bad boys up. So just put your batter into your skillet. I can fit three in my cast iron skillet. And you just wanna kick it on each side for about two minutes, three minutes. You just wanna make sure that you don't flip it before you see bubbles popping up in the center. Once you see those, then that's the telltale sign that they are sort of clipped on the bottom and that you can flip them. And you know, obviously, depending on how dark or light you like them, you can leave them for longer or flip them earlier. I'm kind of in the middle, you know? They look really 
good. <laughs> I can't wait to eat breakfast. <laughs> yum, yum. This is, these are like super fluffy and moist. I think this one is done for sure. I can I just want to bite it. <laughs> so I'm going to put them on a plate so that I can do the rest. This one, this like second batch, I think is prettier. And it always seems to go like that. Like the first one, there's always one that looks really crazy and like oblong and you flip it wrong. And, but the second looks so pretty. One way to keep your pancakes warm while you're doing the different, the other batches, stick them in the oven at its lowest temperature while you, you know, work on the rest. Definitely have some more color. Hey, hey, hey. Super greasy. Get these out of there and they stay nice and warm. And these are looking pretty good, nice and greasy. Oh, oof! That, no, that one's special. This one's special too. So what was this one? There we go. <laughs> so these, this is my big plate of pancakes, and yes, this is what I eat for breakfast at least once a week, the whole serving. Just kidding. You see, they're a little bit darker than normal pancakes, and that's because of that teff flour. The teff flour is really dark on its own, so our pancakes are nice and dark, and they look rich and beautiful. Thanks for watching me make those. Wasn't it fun? So I want you to make the recipe because it's delicious and I wanna know what you think. So leave a comment in the comment section below, whether you're watching this on YouTube or on my blog, sweetpotatosoul.com. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more delicious, healthy, fun cooking videos like this one. Click here to subscribe. See you next time.